Hello and welcome back to the Raid Farm V2. So just a quick overview, we still have our pillager outpost, we still have our killing area, but one major part is missing now and that is our spawn platform. So why is that? We Mojang decreased the range of where mobs count through a raid. So now we can pretty much abuse them spawning in the whole giant area, but they're further than 128 blocks far away from us and therefore they instantly despawn. And this has the nice effect that as soon as the first wave despawns, the next wave spawns. And we will quickly showcase you guys this, so I'm gonna go in spectator. And my trusty guinea pig, DocM77, is gonna start work, slaughtering work, work. our oh. banner guy. And let's okay. see that we can actually catch it. Okay, I killed him. Right, and raiders, re up. raiders remaining. Okay, clearing up here. Okay, now we're building. Yep, quickly halfway there already. And now. Yep, there we saw the first raid spawning in. There they go. There's another wave. Instantly despawned, despawned. And the raid is completely done. Hey, and I'm the hero of the village. You. As you can tell, this is way faster than before, which is beneficial since while the raid is going, we will not get any presents from our gift villagers here. And yeah, that's the whole deal about it. So now it's way simpler to make a raid farm. We don't need to prepare any of the area. And let's quickly talk through the redstone. So up here, we just have our gifting villagers that throw their items into here. Nice little chests. And one comment I got on my last raid farm, which was a super smart idea, which for some reason we never came up with. Right now, we're no longer waiting for the first raid mob to come in to detect the raid starting. We just filter out banners and detect that, which so simple, but so smart. Thanks for that comment. Really good one. So as soon as we detect a banner, pretty much we start this clock here, which has 24 items, which leaves us a little bit of time to get another pillager in because we still have to manually kill one raid mob to get the hero of the village. And after that, we pretty much just lock the elevator. And then the elevator is locked, the whole raid goes through within seconds. And then we still up here have our two detection villagers that will shoot the rockets. And they will just start our 40 minute clock, which also keeps the elevator locked. And then after 40 minutes, we will unlock the clock, which unlocks the elevator. We get a new banner guy and one more and we restart the whole thing. So yeah, this is the new and improved leg friendly raid farm. I hope you really liked it. Thanks for Doc for being my guinea pig. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to Double Moses, who is working with Raid Farms himself in Logic's Discord all the time. I took a lot of inspiration from him. There's a lot of other neat tricks you can do with it, which we will showcase too in a bit. And yeah, bye bye.